Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with Laugh Love Shop, and today I want to talk to you guys about some fall fashion trends. Instead of doing a full month-long series on fall fashion trends, I thought I would just pick some of the top ones that I'm seeing and talk to you about them. So let's get started. The first trend that I want to talk to you guys about is asymmetrical necklines, and obviously, I'm a fan. <laughs> I do know, however, that as a bigger busted girl, sometimes the asymmetrical neckline can be really tricky. It's really hard to wear a strapless bra when you're really big. It's also really hard to wear a bralette like some smaller chested friends can do. This is actually a bralette that I took the cups out of. I got it at Walmart just this past weekend and the cups are removable. So I took them out and I put the bralette over my regular bra so that I have the look of the bralette but I get the support that I need. The next trend that I want to talk about is square necklines. I think if you can rock a square neckline you totally should. I will say be wary if you have a smaller chest because I do think especially if you have a small chest and broad shoulders that it will make your smaller chest look even smaller it will make your shoulders look even broader so just be wary of that next up are square toed shoes i personally will not be embracing i feel like the square toe comes in and out of style and when you see a square toe you know exactly when that person got those shoes. Whereas something like a round toe, a pointed toe, or an almond shaped toe are a lot more classic and will be a lot more timeless. Next, let's talk capes. I wasn't so sure about the cape trend until I saw this one online when I was preparing for this video. This cape is awesome. I really want one. And capes are one of those things where I kind of wonder, like, it's not classic like a blazer is, but we've actually been seeing capes for quite a few seasons now, at least three years or so now. So I would say spend maybe mid-level amount of money. Don't go super cheap with it, but I wouldn't invest like I would invest in a pair of leather pumps. Grunge florals, or what I'm calling grunge florals. Every season we come back to a floral with a dark background, whether it's a grunge floral or it's a winter floral, whatever you wanna call it, I feel like this is, again, sort of a timeless item that you could definitely invest in. Next up is head to toe leather, whether it's a leather jacket and matching leather pants or a leather dress, head to toe leather is very big this season, but to be honest, I don't think it's something we should invest in, guys. I think that for one thing, it's gonna get very hot <laughs> to wear leather because yeah, the weather outside is cooler, but let's face it, when we're inside, it's warmer inside. So I feel like wearing a leather dress, unless you're gonna be outside all the time, doesn't make any sense. Winter maxi skirts, I am all about this trend. You guys know though, I do have quite the bohemian style and I, I'm a fan of a maxi skirt, so I would say yes, let's definitely take our maxi skirts into the fall and winter time. I would just suggest go for something in a heavier fabric, not a light, airy, flowy maxi skirt that's gonna be really cold, especially if you're north like I am, but let's get them in denim, let's get them in leather, something really heavy and sturdy. The next trend is again one that we've been seeing for the last three to five years, and that is a strong shoulder. Whether it's a powerful blazer with a lot of structure, or if it's just a light little puff in your flutter sleeve, this is something that's been going on for quite a few years now, and if you are bottom heavy, if you are a pear shape, or if you're even an apple shape, having a broader shoulder or something detailed at the shoulder is going to help balance you out for a pear shape it's going to make your top half heavier so that it's balanced and your small waist is accentuated if you're an apple shape having some detailing up here draws the eye away from your tummy which might be your problem area and finally my last new trend that we're looking at are belted coats and 
blazers. So whether you're using the matching belt that comes with your trench coat or you're putting maybe a leather belt around your trench coat or blazer, this is a really fun option. I'm excited to see all those waists come in and it's sort of like jewelry for your waist. Now I did say that was the last of the newer trends. I want to talk about some trends that come back every single fall. You guys know every fall we pull out what? We pull out plaid and this year is obviously no exception and it really seems like any kind of plaid goes whether it's buffalo check or like a suiting kind of plaid or tartan it doesn't matter pull them all out pull them out every year because they're classic another thing we see every fall is animal print leopard print is the most classic of the animal prints but snake print is huge this year which you know I'm excited about. I've also been seeing quite a bit of tiger print this year which is really awesome. That's not a kind of animal print that you see year after year after year so it's really fun to see that sort of come in and take the spotlight. I think if you can rock it that you totally should. I would say spend maybe one to three dollar signs of the five dollar sign scale but I will add to that that if tiger print is something that really resonates with you, then embrace it. Spend a little bit more on it. If it really feels like you, then you're gonna love it and wear it, no matter if it's in the spotlight or not. All animal prints are a classic. And finally, fur coats. Every year, fur coats are back, or faux fur coats as the case may be, and I say definitely embrace it. If you find one that is totally figure flattering, go and get it. You will wear it every single year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let YouTube know that you enjoy fashion videos. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite trends are, what's something that you already have that you love and you're excited to bring back out. Also, what's something that you don't have but you kind of want to try. Let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you next time. Bye. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. In the meantime, check these out and follow me across social media.